Hello everyone and welcome back to Simicraft's 2017 Steam Holiday Gift Guide, where today we'll be looking at Heart of Crown, PC version. How exciting. Alright. Prepared to connecting to servers and as far as I understand, this is a, uh, some, I think a deck builder game of some sort? Oh good, we successfully logged into the server. Yay. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll start with a, a campaign. Okay, I guess we click on the deck. Not enough support points. We need 500. Great. Alright. How the heck do we get that? Uh... Versus? Versus CPU. Let's do it. Okay, I guess this is our uh, deck or something. Let's go! Okay, I have no idea how to play this game. Okay, so uh, we've got. Oh, I did not necessarily. Okay, how do I? Okay, so we just put down a farming village. We also have an apprentice maid, which uh, has a minus two crown points. This seems to maybe give us money, so let's just put down all the farming villages. And uh, there we go, next phase. Hopefully. Okay, luckily most of the CPUs have done the exact same thing, which uh, makes me think that our decision may have been wise. No, it's this. Okay. Oh. This might be helpful. Welcome to the world of Heart and Crown. That's it. Okay. I am the humble apprentice maid who will show you through the tutorial. During the tutorial, you can click the right and left arrows below and this window, and this window to proceed. If you close it, you can click anywhere to get back. All right, let's get started right away. The goal of this game is simple: strengthen your deck and and back your favorite princess, then gather supporters for the coronation ceremony. But a picture is worth a thousand words, let's start the game. Try clicking on a card in your hand to use it. Oh, and after you do, call me, okay? You can continue, okay, cool. Farmlands! Okay, now it's... Did you play the farming village card? I did, whoops. The farming village is the most basic of the territory cards. When you use it, you generate a coin. Let's take that coin and buy a card with it. Please use all your farming villages. After that, you can buy a card from the market area. In the upper left part of the screen, try clicking on the city. Okay, I'm kind of thinking maybe we should... Uh, well, I'm sure... We'll, okay. Let's, uh... Put down... And can we get the city? Ah... Uh. That's a curse. That's a large city. There we go, yeah, normal city. There we go, okay, cool. Did you buy the city? If you only had two coins, then let's just uh, proceed anyway. The city is a little stronger than the farming village. It's a territory card that can create two coins. When in doubt, buy one of them. Cards you buy go into go in your discard pile. When you run out of cards in your draw pile, you shuffle your discard and form a new draw pile. Coins are reset every turn, so try to use all of them. Now let's continue with the game. Clicking on the next phase button in the bottom right will move you to the cleanup phase and end your turn. Turns in Heart of Crown are split into phases. You use cards in the main phase, buy more cards in the second phase, and a cleanup phase where you organize your cards. With every turn, your deck gets stronger and stronger. Try playing a few turns if you need to just if you need me, just call. Alright, let's go. 
All right, we understand how the game works. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's play out that farmland. We got four coins to work with. We could get a royal maid, which might be decent. Uh, or maybe we could uh, keep going for money, get another city. I don't think a curse would be very advantageous. Are these also purchasable, purchasable things? What's this? Oh, a rampart. If an opponent attacks, military card may be discarded. Select one of the following effects. Pay one coin. Uh, let's just play it safe and get a city for now. Okay, great. Okay. So put our coins on the table. Great. And we've got five to spend this time. We could get... An alchemist. That might be good. Draw two cards, yeah. We'll grab an alchemist, sure. Why not? That'll give us uh, the ability to draw more cards in the future, which will allow us to buy more things. Oh, something's been backed. Uh, what does that mean? I'll explain what action cards do. Oh. Action cards have effects when you play them, unlike territory cards. The random supply on the left of the market mainly contains action cards. Go ahead and try buying something. I reckon trading ship, post, horse, or alchemist. Oh, and by the way, did you know you can drag select cards in your hand? It's convenient, so try putting it to use. Okay, cool. Should I try playing this character? I don't... Mm. Like so, we've got five cards again. Um... Scout. Each player, including you, reveals the top card. Uh... If an opponent attacks military, card makes you discard or reveal cards. Reduce quantity by one. Ooh, what about this? Draw two cards or two coins. Yeah, we can get that. Seems like a solid investment. Okay, okay, choose territory. What? Choose the territory to discard? I guess we'll just have to get rid of the farmland. Oh well. Okay, let's play the alchemist. Got two maids. Okay, I, I will never... Oh. What can I do with a maid? Like, can I... Uh. Action cards are used like territory cards. You can play them from your hand. But be careful. Check out the bottom and right sides of the card. Right click on the card to display its details. For example, the farming village has a triangle on the right. This triangle is called a link. If a card has a link on the right, then you can play another card to the right of it. Uh. The post horse has links on the right and bottom. You can play a card both on it to its right and below it. However, the trading ship has no links. You can't play any more cards after a card with no links, but their effects are usually stronger. Okay. Try to get up to six coins. Okay, great. <clears throat> Still don't know what to do with these cards at all. Oh wait, no, 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 we definitely should buy something. Another city, maybe? We'll grab a city. Okay. Oh man, this is the money turn. Okay, uh, we'll go for two coins. We'll talk. Did you get six coins? If you did, then proceed. 
Congratulations. When you have six coins, you could buy a better version of the city. The large city. The large city generates an amazing three coins by itself, and it has no downsides. However, there's one enticing choice you have with six coins, and that's to back a princess. Like I said at the beginning, the real goal of this game is to back the princess you like and gather supporters. However, let's use a few farming villages as possible for the coins needed. If you back a princess from a poor countryside, you'll be at a disadvantage in the succession wars. Call me when you get six coins with only cities or action cards, or if you're brave enough to accept the penalty. Uh, we'll, we'll grab the city for now. Uh, I need to discard the territory. Uh, too bad. Goodbye, farm. Ooh, another princess has been backed. Fascinatingly. Alchemist. Okay. City farm. Farm. Perhaps we should get... Discard as many cards as you wish from your hand to draw the same number of cards from it. Let's actually get that. I like that. What's this? Uh, a rampart? Uh, I could get that, I suppose. Well, what the... What the heck, why not? Okay. Yay. We defended. Huzzah. Okay, with four coins, I think we'll just buy a... Oh, man. We'll just buy a city with that. Gotta get that economy rolling. Let's draw some cards. Wow, that's a lot of farmland. Boom, 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 boom. Six coins will buy another large city. I need to discard a territory. Goodbye, farmland. Okay, on this turn... I don't know what to do with that. Um, with a five, we could get a, another city and a rampart. We could get uh, one of these. How a ship? Well, we don't put too many ships. We'll just get a city. Ooh, what's this? I feel like we might not be doing all that well. Okay, city, city. Ship, two coins. Great. Let's talk. Oh, so you're going to back a princess? Each princess has her own special abilities. Read them carefully before choosing one. Click on the back button and choose whichever princess you like. Okay, so we could back a uh, Lunasakia? Lu... Lo... Lunasakia? Immediately gained six succession points. Okay. Leo Lily. You may acquire up to five royal maids from the market. Clem Clem. The cost to buy a card is reduced by one. This cannot reduce the cost of the card below zero. Bregamot. You may discard a non cursed card. We can't actually back them. You may acquire two cards from the market with a cost of five or less. Also, when you back her, you do not have to move any farming villages cards into your domain. Lane and Xion. When you back Lane and Xion, the princess twins put X twin counters on this card. X is equal to the number of princess cards that other players have backed, plus one. Remove a twin counter from the game. You may take another turn if... After your current one ends, you could not use this ability more than... Okay. Banish two different cards, other than territory. Okay. Let's just go simple, gain six succession points. Okay, great. I need to discard territory. Oh, goodbye, farm.
Okay, with six. What do we want to do with six? We get it, get another large city, keep growing that economy. What it keeps happening with this person? Can I talk to you? Oh, hold on. Did you choose? Once you do, your turn automatically ends. Did you notice how the land used back her moved to the left side of the screen? This is called your domain. You can keep cards in your domain. I'll explain that later. By the way, if your princess has an activation ability, you can use it by clicking on her card during your main phase. I can explain keep being next call call me if you want to know. What? Now explain how to keep cards. You can temporarily keep unneeded action cards in your domain. You can do this freely during your main phase. However, you can't keep any cards that cost more than the territories in your domain. If you use the city, then you can only keep cards costing up to three. You can do this if your hand wasn't very good or if you have some of the parts for a combo. Keep them in your domain and use them on your next turn. To keep a card, click and drag the card from your hand to the keep position. When you want to put one of those cards back into in your hand, which is called recalling, you can click and drag the kept card to your hand. Let's try it out. Maybe not though. Okay. Okay, we have so much money. Okay, nine. What are we gonna do with nine? We could uh, grab a duke. Maybe. Or we could uh, go for money and a royal maid, potentially. More money and a royal maid. There we go. Okay, choose a defense card to activate. Boom. Okay, the twins have been selected, apparently. Oh no, they... Oh, they use the ability, I see. Ha! Keep activating those defenses. Okay, can I do this? I don't, do you even have an ability? I don't think you do. Okay. Alright, we will play this and discard our entire... I uh, choose and discard the entire hand. Okay. Two cards. Yeah, there. Oops. What use is that if I can't play the cards immediately? Okay, well, with five coins, uh, we could get the Senator. Which is what we'll do. I guess that's how you could use that. Choose the territory. Oh no, the farm. Okay. Um. Each player builds top card. Pay one coin. When you do, banish one farming village card from your hand. After that, take one city card from the market and put it in your hand. Or pay two coins, banish a city, and then get a large city. That actually seems pretty cool. So we'll just uh, we'll grab one of those. Try to upgrade those farms. Seems like a solid play. Okay. Did it work out? Oh. Keeping cards is a difficult task to master, but if you use it enough times, you'll get the hang of it. Now explain how succession points works. Succession points are directly related to your game's score. They come from succession cards. Call me after you buy a succession card and draw it in your hand. Did you get a succession card? Let's set it right away. 
You set succession cards during your second phase. If you're currently in the main phase, then click on the next phase button at the bottom right. Setting succession cards works the same as keeping. You drag the card on top of your princess. Give it a try. Hmm? That, did I do that right? Hopefully. Regardless. Oops. I think I may have done something poorly there. Can I take it back, please? There we go. I think it worked, though. We just need to make sure to do it at the next phase of the turn. Whoops. Oh my gosh, we're getting left in the dust here. They stick right behind your princess, giving her succession points. Whoever reaches 20 points in this way is the winner. What? There are a few things to be careful about. Setting succession cards comes at the expense of buying any new cards. Once you set one, you can't buy a card that turn. Some cards will decrease your succession points too. This happens when fa with farming villages and for me as well, even though I stand by your side from the beginning. I'm so useful. How cruel of them to make me a liability. Hm. However, just like your domain, when you set a card, it's no longer part of your draw pile. By doing this, you can thin out your draw piles. For now, try your best to get to 20 points to call me back. Okay. Well done. Um. Discard these. Okay, and draw the exact same cards, sure. Why not? Coins, great. Uh, we'll grab ourselves a duke. Or, that was, was that a duke? No, that was a senator. Ah. Player 4 1. Okay, okay, now that we seem to actually understand to an extent... No, we don't want the campaign. To an extent what, uh, how the game works. I don't want records, no. No, I don't, I really don't need records. Okay. Let's try again. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And give me that city. Great. Okay. Uh, I kind of like the fast horses. Or the fast horse. So we'll grab that. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Five. Great. We could get a ship with that. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll get a ship. Great. And more horses. Perfect. Okay, someone has already backed the princess. Great. Okay. Choose a territory to discard. Oh, no. Too bad. We've lost the farm. Okay. Well, with only two, I guess we could, uh... Get a rampart, I guess. Scouts. Wishing well is not bad. Boom, boom. Okay. At four. Ooh, the Imperial Capital. That looks great. Uh, we'll just grab a city. We need to make sure we're building up that economy so we can buy a bunch of stuff. Probably. Alright, draw a card. Okay. Not terribly interesting. Now at five. 
We could... Alchemist, draw two cards. I like that. Choose a tor territory. Oh, uh, well. Goodbye. Farmland. Alright. Horses. Alchemist. And after all that, even just only three. Okay, we'll just buy a city then. Or, I mean, we could get a ship. Well, we'll get a city. Alright, horses. Alright, let's uh, redraw these to hopefully get some higher quality. Okay. And... Give those coins. Uh, I think we'll go for the large city. Don't need a back princess immediately. Uh, okay, goodbye farm. Okay, maybe we should back princess soon. Though. Okay, we'll use this. Discard the maid. One, two, three. Alright, let's back a princess. Um, five rolling maids is actually pretty good. We'll go for that. Loudly. Choose how many role maids to take with you. Five! What do we do with all these role maids? Okay, draw, draw. Even after that, oh well, it's five. Not the worst. Could, uh, let's grab the ship and the rampart, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Let's grab the ship. Uh, I gotta discard the territory. Gosh. Five. Uh, we'll grab ourselves a city. A goodbye, farm. Okay, horses, a dark command. One, two, three. Get the money. Okay, let's grab a large city. Unfortunately, we can't play the maid that turn. Hopefully, we'll be able to play the maid in future turns, though. Okay, we'll start by playing this and discard all of these. Then this. Okay. Then this. Draw two cards. Great. This, this, this. Now we could buy something, but I think actually we'll just play the two maids. Seems like a good opportunity. Okay, choose a territory to discard. Aw, oh, that's painful. I think this might be another maid's turn. This is most certainly a maid's turn. Okay. Could've been worse. Alright. Get out of here, get out of here. Really, I probably should play that after I draw cards. Okay, uh... Grab the large city. Because money. Okay. We may actually want to start uh, considering buying some other things that'll boost our uh, points, as we are currently in last place with regards to points.
Well, this has become a somewhat ridiculous combo. Somewhat ineffective combo as well. Uh, do we go for money? Maybe, uh... We'll go for one more large set. And then we really do need to transition into points, I think. Ah, oh, that's painful. Yeah, actually, Ramparts wouldn't be the worst investment in the world. Okay. We'll grab this guy. Oh, we got that guy. Nice. Oh my gosh! I am the worst at this game, apparently. Player <sighs> 4 wins again. Okay, okay, come on. We can do this. Okay. Let's go. Round three. Okay, this is actually a fairly decent starting hand here. Okay, what do we want? Drawing won't be very helpful until we can get the quality of cards that we'll draw up. Honestly, the uh, development may have been a better pick there. We'll just uh, keep going with the cities for now. I wish there was something we could do to get rid of these maids. Alright. So this will be our city development. Now to help us upgrade our farms. Okay. Uh, and with th that, we can get... Horses and a city. Which is always fun. Okay, and with three, we can only grab a city. At the end of all that, uh, the city? Sure. Okay, hopefully that helps to an extent. Great, okay. Let's grab a big city. Or large city, as I'm told it's called. There we go. Nice. And with that, we can get ourselves another city development card. And I don't think we should need more than like two. Probably. Okay, um. We'll grab another city. Maybe. I guess, sure. Could maybe actually use a boat or some draw in the mechanics. But there aren't any drawing mechanics on the board right now. So uh, I feel justified in uh, getting another large city. Great. Okay, total of four, which could go to a number of things. We 
good I get this. Any opponent who has five more cards in their hand must discard one territory card from their hand. If they do not have territory cards, they reveal their hand. Hmm. That's not bad. Um. What use is getting a curse? Um. We could, uh, just, uh, we'll grab a maid. Just starts those happening. Alright, I think it's time to back a princess. The cost to buy a card is reduced by one. This cannot reduce the cost to zero. Gain six. Let's just. Hmm. Here. Climb, climb. Reduce the cost of cards. Sure. Great. Boom. Okay. Great. And now with this, well, actually, we can't quite get a dupe. Okay. Well, actually, can we get a. Oh yeah, it's discounted. Boom, got a duke. Nice. Okay. Great. And now with that, what will we do? Perhaps... Draw cards. Select a discard a kept card from one territory in each opponent's domain. Here, just draw two cards. I like that. And we still have some money on top of that, so we'll grab a maid. Okay. Six. I say we get a senator and a trading ship. Okay, wonderful. Now we got five. I say we may spend this on another city. Maybe. Or wishing well, perhaps. Actually, we'll just we'll just use the map. That's a big combo right there. Okay, we'll go for another maid play. Okay, so one has back to princess, that's great. Hmm. This could be a lucrative turn. Two coins, and guess who's getting the Imperial Capital? Perfect. Okay, well this turn is going to clearly just, just be, uh, this. There we go. Okay. Put this over here. Great. Yes! We got to 20! 21 specifically is what we're at. Enthronement, yes! 
Winner, player one, Supercraft. Ha! Oh. Okay. Oh, so we finally won, and I think that's going to be a good moment to end off with for Heart of Crown, PC version. Alright, so yeah, this is a game. It's on Steam. It costs, I believe, it's going for $25 right now. Although there might, it might be on sale because it like, just came out. Um, and it's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good uh, deck building strategy game. It's been a while since I last played it, but it does somewhat remind you of like uh, Dominion. Again, it's been a while since I last played that. And, uh, I wasn't even super into it when I did, but... Yeah, it's a good little game here. Uh, I'm not certain what the multiplayer options are like. Uh, open a new game. It doesn't look like there's local multiplayer, which I'm not sure if that's a, that may or may not be a deal breaker for you. And there's this whole campaign mode, which I didn't even really get a chance to look at. Okay. Which is interesting. But yeah, the uh, gameplay is solid. Uh, and as we can see, if we go back to this versus match, like, there are all sorts of settings, like, ninja stuff, like, there's a whole, and I guess this is kind of like your default stop, shop stuff, there's just all of these settings for things you could do, on an adventure is a setting, which is interesting, so, th like, it took me three games to even win our this first beginner thing, just full random or custom. So uh, it looks to me, if you get into this game and you really like this game, there are tons of potential uh, versions essentially that you could play of it, which is which is interesting. There's a ton of replay value here. And then, of course, also you've got just the inherent replay value of online multiplayer, which I'm not going to do right now, but presumably it's good. Uh, yeah. I mean, the question, of course, is, is it worth $25? And that's a tough question for you to answer, having only just kind of barely touched the surface of this game. I mean, I can tell that this game most likely goes way deeper than what I've come across this thus far. It's all of the different setups, and I'm sure there are much better strategies than what I was playing. So, yeah. I'll say it's- this game is likely worth $25 if this is the type of game you would really dive into and just play a lot, okay? If you if you're going if you're going to like casually play it a few times and then not play it if this isn't the type of game that you would play a lot then it's probably not worth twenty five dollars but if this is the type of game you could see yourself getting very invested in and playing a lot then yeah this could definitely be a twenty five dollars worth of enjoyment here and there we go that's Heart of Crown, right? Heart of Crown. How do I get back? Whoops. Anyways, until next time, I've been Supercraft. I'll catch you in the next episode with another game. Goodbye.